Hello, you beautiful people, and welcome back to Let's Play Ghost of Tsushima, where we right now need to talk it's to, good to, have some extra hands around here. to her. So let's do that and have the little briefing. How are the others? Ready to follow wherever you lead. The sensei told them you're the only person on Tsushima who can kill the Khan. I can't do it alone. Or without a plan of attack. And we know he's at Port Izmi, surrounded by an army. We need to know the weakness in their defense. How to get past them. And where to find the Khan. Sounds like we need a hawk's view of the place. I know where we can get one. We'll have cover of darkness if we leave now. Okay. So we are scouting the defenses obviously which is not bad but i'm curious ah port itsumi port izmi we'll have a better view from the lighthouse just need to get up there without being noticed let's move oh a stealthy approach the lighthouse is to the right, I guess, although the mountain we are on, or the rock, seems actually higher than the lighthouse. But well, who am I to judge? Okay. Why would the Khan come up here? He'll sail for our mainland. Attack it, just like he did here. This is our last chance to stop him. So we These need... Flowers. The same ones I used to make my poison. The Mongols have been here picking them. To use against us. Did we do the right thing at your uncle's castle? I was too eager to stop the Khan. You couldn't have known he'd learn from you. It was always a risk. Now our people may suffer even more. You're right. We need to kill him. Soon. We can't get in the front, but we could climb around the cliff. And sneak in through the back. Lead the way. All right, only two guys to take down. That should be not that Difficult if they are not turning around. Luckily, he did not see us. Why ever? And higher it goes. Another guy to take down. But luckily again, he didn't see us. Okay, um, took another, uh, took a couple of uh, Mongols down on the way, that is what we wanted. I don't know if I finally can get closer to the other guy there. The last guy should be taken down. In the end we have the ghost mode available as well. To actually make things a teensy little bit easier. Okay, no one in here. What's in all these barrels? Supplies? Flowers. Poison. One barrel holds enough to kill hundreds. Khan will use this against the mainland. We can't let him leave Tsushima. We'll mm -hmm. scout Port Izumi from the top of the lighthouse. Right behind you. 
Okay, then let's go to the top. So we know what we need to do. That is good and nice to know. Whatever they are bunkering all that stuff inside of the lighthouse, I don't know. Maybe there's some sort of gun up here. Look at the waves. They're flat. The kind you see before a storm. That could work to our advantage. For now, I'll leave the lighthouse dark. Make sure the Mongols can't use it when the storm hits. We can relight it once they're gone. Let's get a look at the port. Mm -hmm. Over here. Let's find our plan of attack. That ridge has an open sightline to the Mongol fleet. Imagine what we could do to their ships if we had our own watchers. The Mongols left that area empty. Too open. Can't defend it. But a good place for an ambush. We could place archers there. Force the Mongols to fight uphill? Ah, Cotton would send horsemen to outflank us. See how the birds are circling? Like they're scared of something on its way. The storm. Preparing to fly inland for shelter. The harbor master's estate. Khan may have taken it for himself. Close to the docks and his fleet. Makes sense. The Khan is almost ready to sail for our mainland. With ships full of men, explosives, and my poison. If we don't stop him here, the Shogunate will fall. The storm is our key to beating him. When it comes, the Khan will have to shelter his fleet in the bay. That's when we strike. Destroy his ships and everything on them. To do this, we'll need Mongol weapons. A simple task for a master thief. <laughs> we'll need fighters, too. A small force could distract the Mongols while I get inside Port Izmi. Kill the Khan. It could work. Let's get back to Jokaku and prepare. All right, I hope... There's a cut now, and we don't... Oh, okay, good, there's a cut. I thought, well, going back now would be not that great. Okay, a gathering storm. Plan the attack on the Khan's stronghold. We have just done. Nice. It was a nice little mission, actually. Um, doing a little bit of stealth, killed assassinations, not raising the alarm, although I, I always say, and I mean that, stealth obviously is not my strongest suit, since I'm very, very impatient. And that then is never a good thing to um, not raise the alarm, actually. Okay. Okay, we can resume his tale. Um, I'd say, you know, I'd say something. Let's actually um, do two things, the two quests in... Between, I know I would like to go on and so to say, well, not finish the game, you know, um, the main story we just yeah. did, but obviously I want to do some of the side quests um, as well. And I think the, for example, the um, new strike we are going to receive, I think, is going or can prove to be. A little bit um, helpful in the tale to kill the Khan. What I can tell you, um, what I really can tell you, we are um, we are going to do the quest with the archer. I forgot his name. I'm sorry. And we are of course going to do this mystic tale. Um, find a musician in Jogaku. I know I can't speak Japanese and then pronouncing something. Not in your um, main language, in a foreign language, and then a foreign name. That is for me never easy. I'm cold. I need to stay warm. Please. Almost lit. Will the fire not light? No, my lord. The wood is too wet. And my hands... Too cold. Let me try. Ooh, never been so cold. 
You'd be better off somewhere warmer. As would you, my lord. For now, share the fire with me, and listen to the tale of this mountain. Long ago, fire fell from the sky and landed atop Mount Jogaku. A lone warrior braved the dangerous climb and found a giant rock covered in flames. He touched his sword to the fire. Flames engulfed the steel, but left him unharmed. He created a new fighting style. He called the Way of the Flame. The warrior took pieces of the rock west with him to China. There he sought answers about its origin from learned monks and scholars. After months of travel and research, fire fell from the sky once more. He led the people to it and showed them it was nothing to fear. For he believed the way of the flame was a gift from the heavens, and he shared its secrets with all who wished to learn. Handed down through generations, the way of the flame has returned to Tsushima. The Mongols wield it against our people. But rumor says the fire still burns atop Mount Jogaku waiting for any who can survive the climb. So you wish to know if the tale is true? Will you make the climb? Not I, my lord. I told the story to a Ronin not long ago, and he began the climb. Though I fear the cold will take him. I'll find what secret the mountain hides. Mm-hmm. 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 The undying flame. This wonderful quest is cold. And I'll go into this direction. Ascent Mount Jakua. Jagaku? Jogaku? I don't know. So then let's do the climb. I can already spoiler you a little bit. We are not going to make it in this episode that I can promise you. But let's see what we find. Okay, could just collect arrows here. Okay, that probably was the Ronin. Getting colder. I would like to get to a fire, but I don't see... Oh my goodness. Okay, that honestly I did not expect. The thing is, I can't... Okay, there should be... Okay, there's, there's just a tree. Okay. The fire warming up thing is... That I can tell you is not cool. At all. Getting colder. Okay, and we need somehow to get up there. The question is, where can we go up? Bloody hell, come on. I was, of course, pressing the wrong button. Need warmth. Soon. Okay, there's a fire up there, so let me... Hope that I'm going into the correct lo... Take much more cold. Yes, I know, baby. Okay, you can jump up. The thing is... Come on, go up, please. A indicator for me would have just helped out. 
Um, the thing is, in not seeing where to go is absolutely not that cool, actually. But, guys, that already brings us right now to the end of this episode. And you know it, I, as usual, so cold. Really, really thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode, then please give me a little thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, and hopefully I see ya in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty.